Welcome to Akshara Foundation's introductory video on division. Akshara has developed a maths kit which has base 10 blocks, counters, and play money as teaching aids to help your students understand the concept of division. Let's start with a simple example. Distribute eight counters among four students. How many counters does each student get? By distributing one counter at a time, each student gets two counters. This is division, a process of equal sharing. Division is indicated by a symbol. Draw the student's attention to the link between three facts. First fact. The total quantity to be shared is 8. This is called the dividend. Second fact. The number of shares or parts to be made is 4. This is called the divisor. These two facts help us find the third fact. What is the quantity in each share? It is 2. This is the answer we are looking for and is called the quotient. Students learn very fast with play money. Let us distribute 21 rupee notes equally among four students. How many notes does each student get? Start by distributing one note to each student. After one round, we are left with 16 notes. 20 minus 4, which is 16. Each time we distribute 4, we are subtracting the same quantity till we have no more notes left. Thus, division is a process of repeated subtraction. Here, 20 is the dividend, 4 is the divisor. The answer or quotient is 5 notes. Here's a fun fact for your students to observe. What happens if Mamta has five slices of bread and she has a pet dog? The lucky dog gets all five slices because five divided by one gives five. Any number, when divided by one, gives the number itself. For example, four divided by one is four and nine divided by one is nine. Sixteen divided by one is sixteen. Now, if four other dogs join, how many slices of bread will each dog get? Now, there are five dogs and hence, Mamta gives one slice to each dog. Five divided by five is one. Here, students need to understand that any number, when divided by itself, gives one. Equal distribution can also be thought using base 10 blocks. Each yellow cube represents one unit. Ten cubes regroup to form one ten, represented by a blue rod. Ten blue rods regroup to form one hundred, represented by one green plate. And ten green plates regroup to form one thousand, represented by one red cube. Let students learn regrouping. Divide 72 by 6. Ask students to represent the dividend 72 using rods and cubes. The divisor here is 6 and we need to find the quotient. Starting from the highest place value, which is the tenths place, divide 7 tenths by 6. The share of each is 1 ten and we are left with 1 ten. Since one rod cannot be divided into six equal parts, the blue rod must be regrouped as ten yellow units to enable equal sharing. Ten units plus two units gives us a total of twelve units or twelve yellow cubes. Twelve units when divided by six is two. The quotient or answer is one blue rod and two yellow cubes, which is 12 units. Show students the steps in long division. When we divide 
7 tens by 6, each gets 1 ten. See that students write 1 correctly in the quotient. We have distributed 6 tens and are left with 1 ten, which, when regrouped, is 10 units. Move one place right and bring down the 2 from the unit's place. 10 plus 2 is 12. When 12 is equally distributed to 6, each gets 2. This 2 has to be written in the quotient. All units are now distributed and we are left with nothing. The division process is complete and the quotient or answer is 12. Students grasp concepts very quickly with play money. Revise with students the rule of regrouping by tens. One thousand rupee note can be exchanged for ten hundred rupee notes. One hundred rupee note can be exchanged for ten notes of ten rupees. And one ten rupee note can be exchanged for ten notes of one rupee each. If five hundred and fifteen rupees have to be distributed among five students, how much will each one get? Students must call out the expanded form of the number. 515 is five hundreds, one ten and five one rupee notes. Starting from the highest place value, when five hundreds are divided amongst five, each one gets one hundred rupee note. Remind students of the division fact that when a number is divided by itself, the answer is 1. Now, all 100 rupee notes have been distributed and we are left with none. Move one step right to the tens place. There is only one note of 10 rupees and one note cannot be divided amongst 5. So, the students do not get any 10 rupee notes. In other words, zero tens are distributed. But one ten can be exchanged for ten ones. Along with the five ones in the unit's place, we now have a total of fifteen ones to be divided by five. Thus, each student's share is three ones. Now, all the money is distributed and we are left with nothing. When 515 is divided amongst 5, each gets 100 rupee note, 0 10 rupee notes, and 3 1 rupee notes, which is 103 rupees. Let students now try some more long division problems. It is important to explain the relationship between division and multiplication. In division, we start with the dividend or total. For example, if we want to distribute 20 chocolates to 4 students, how many chocolates will each student get? Here, we apply the process of division. When we divide 20 by 4, the quotient or answer is 5. Thus, each student gets 5 chocolates. On the other hand, if we start with the fact that we have 4 students and want to give 5 chocolates to each, how many chocolates in total will we require? We need to find the product or total and here apply the process of multiplication. 5 multiplied by 4 gives the product or the answer, which is a total of 20 chocolates. Thus, for the multiplication fact 5 multiplied by 4 equals 20, we have the division fact 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Let students see that division is the reverse of multiplication. Here is another example. A school gets 575 library books. The headmaster wants to distribute them equally to five classes. Here, we need to find the quantity of books each class will receive. Thus, the process of division has to be applied. 
multiple eights in Akshara's math kit encourage learning in groups. This can be followed by practice work using long division. Learning division can now be fun for your students.